Hello everyone and welcome to episode 4 of the Hitchhiker's Guide to ServiceNow. Today we're going to take a look down the road of copy attachments. Uh, seems to be a hot topic this, uh, this year or this week or what you call it. Today we're going to take a look how you can copy an image from the clipboard into the common field in your service portal record. I actually came from a Twitter question from my other episode where I actually make a, a flow action to copy attachment between different records. Feel free to, to see that later if you like in my YouTube channel. And let's see if I always have a problem with the, the beautiful PowerPoint. Here you can see you have a nice uh, picture up there on me, a little bit of text who I am, what I have done, what I really like to work and do. And then on over there, hard to get the, the camera right with the mirroring. You have my contact information if you'd like to get in touch, talk about ServiceNow or have any questions, or perhaps use any information you have and ask me on the YouTube channel. Today, oops, wrong way. Let's hit the last slide. We don't like PowerPoint that much. Uh, we're going to take a look how we can customize the ticket conversation widget to actually have the functionality to let the end user just copy paste in uh, a screenshot that I have just taken instead of saving that and upload it and so on. And just a reminder for myself, everything I do code wise I'll do like Chuck, I have my um, GitHub, you have the address, you have that on the PowerPoint as well and I put it down here somewhere in the YouTube video description to see so you can easily say it but I have already put it up you can go in you have the codes and even an update set to put it in if you like to have that as well but let's take a look what we're talking about so what we're talking about is this when the user go into a ticket and now they would like to take a screenshot for example this one and now they would like to just copy paste it in here and voila it's uploaded to this task we can't do that out of the box you need to hit the gam upload it and all that different ways which is not the best user experience perhaps so what we do is we control right click simple way widget in editor and since this is an out of the box one you can't really edit it it's just read only so what we do is you go up hit clone put in a, a good name and then you get a clone widget of the exact same configuration and i have already done that so i have a witch doctor ticket conversation widget and as you can see it's now not read only anymore and uh, before we start going through, I would like to say that this is something I found for uh, quite a long time ago and put it down in my precious OneNote. Uh, so I'm not the one who, who actually came up with this solution. I just thought it was really cool. Something I probably use in the future, save it down and now suddenly I can use it. I had to tweak it a little bit, but just one simple thing to get it to work because probably this has been done in an older release of service now with an older version of this ticket conversation widget. So we have only changes in the HTML template and the client script. The HTML template we are using something called ng paste, which pretty much in Angular says when someone is pasting something into this field this is what we want to run uh, and this is probably the problem I had this one in my code from the old versions were up here or something I it wasn't exactly the same code but I could pinpoint it to something here and having there didn't work but putting it down here did work and what I actually did was I went to the form let me zoom in a little bit later for the code as well I went to the form just right click and uh, in English I guess it's inspect down here I'm using the Chrome then I can actually see where in the code am I so this is the place where the, the user is actually clicking to paste in the stuff and so this is the field we like to watch for the ng paste as well so let's take a look at the code 
So on the template, and you paste, run the paste function and pass on the event that has been pasted into this uh, field. So let's remove the HTML template. And then the only thing we actually needed to do on the client script is this part here. The rest is totally out of the box. So let's, let's walk through and see what are we actually doing in this code. So basically, here's the function, the function name. We are using event for the thing that we are pasting in. We define files as an array because we can, of course, have multiple files in the clipboard. Then we fetch that data from the clipboard and put that into this variable. Then we loop through the different uh, items. And if the item is an image, then of course we like to keep it because if it's just pure text, we don't want to put that as an attachment. But if it's an image, we push that data into the files and then we put that into the attachment handler. And this one is coming, my guessing, is from up here and is uh, service now stuff, so to speak. Now, let's see this one in action then. So, let's go into the page designer and remove the out of the box ticket conversation. Can almost uh, sing a song while it's waiting. And here we go. So at the bottom we have the outer box one. Put that one in the trash can. Let's take mine instead. Now we can see it's my widget instead. We go back. Let's reload. And as you can see, soon it looks totally the same, but if I go in, take a new uh, snapshot, copy that into the clipboard, click and control V, you can see that now it's uploading the attachment. Here we go, here is the image. You can see down here on attachments as well. And if I take the incident number and find that one, you can see that the image is now popped up as well. So that's a, a quite a, a simple way to doing this. And what I meant earlier when we're talking about diff if statement is that let's say that I just, let me just do something here. Let's say that I have some text and I copy that one. So now the text is into the clipboard. If I paste that one in, I don't want that to become uh, an attachment and upload it as well. So that's the reason why we have that check as well. So that's about it. If you like the code, don't forget to, to go to the GitHub and, and copy it from there. So you don't have to, to pause my video and retype it from the screen. Let's make it as simple as possible. And whoever did this from the start that I don't remember, Thank you very much, it was uh, real helpful and now you helped someone else. So thank you for watching and see you around.